Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I only made one minor change to my deck. And that was, I took out my Ukazi to bring in Pot of Greed. I think Pot of Greed is going to serve me much better than doing 800 direct damage right away. So I can do that with offense. Alright, so I did random, and apparently I got Shrewsdale as my draw. Interesting. Let's see how this minor change works out for me. Because I remember, like, out of these five opponents, I think Shrewsdale gives you the toughest draw. Due to the fact that he is pretty smart. Uh, use a dark hole right away? I don't know, actually. It seems a bit too early. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon, let's say, Urabi in attack mode. Because if that's a trap hole or a torrential tribute, I'll at least get rid of my weaker monsters and still have my stronger monsters to play. So we took out one trap hole. Basically, it's just trying to draw this guy's traps out with as minimal collateral as possible. Monster Reborn? Aw, oh, crap. Now he takes my own monster. Okay, I think now it might be a bit justifiable to actually bring in my own uh, Dark Hole. But again, I th think that's still a bit too soon, because what if he has like a Regeki and can still bring in his stronger monsters? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm actually going to summon Sever Colored Fish. Seven! That's Sever. Even though Sever Colored Fish would seem like a pretty hardcore duel monster to bring in. He's like, I'm colored and I'm going to sever you! Bert Sienna all the way, MFR, yeah. I don't know, whenever I do like some kind of color metaphor or tangent, I tend to go with Burnt Sienna. Oh, he uses his own Dark Hole. That actually makes it all the better. So I drawn out his own Dark Hole. And I still have mine. Okay, unfortunately he has Witch of the Black Forest, which will allow him to bring in a monster to his hand whenever it's destroyed. Of 1500 defense points or lower. So I think now would be a good time to bring in my giant flea. So let's do this. Okay, I don't think he's gonna have enough for reassembling Exodia right away, because he needs at least five cards for that. He still has a good lead though. Oh, Penguin Soldier. Okay, I have to watch that particular card to see if he's gonna flip it. Or bring it face down. Get your burial, okay. Upstart Goblin? Okay, that's definitely Penguin Soldier. I've got that confirmed right now. Okay, so what is it? Every time he draws a card, I get a thousand life points? I think that's what it is. No, wait, he gets to draw an extra card, and I get a thousand life points. I got it now. Alright, so why don't we do this right now? Um, Don't want to swing for the fences yet. Part of me wants to, like, destroy that penguin soldier right now, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that with a monster I have. That way I can still summon one whenever that flip effect is activated. Won't be able to do any damage this turn, but that's okay. Oh, we're actually tied! I'm only noticing that just now. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's try it this way. I know he's not gonna bite, but at least I'll have some good defense. Okay, that's it? Okay. Suit yourself. Grass Clown, that might actually be something to consider. Okay, when this card is changed from defense position to attack position, okay. Fortunately, like, face down does not count. I could definitely take advantage of this. So you know what, why don't we do that right now? I'll summon Crass Clown in attack mode. And then I'll flip summon Gamma the Magnet Warrior. So with that, I'm going to let Crass Clown attack the uh, Mystic Tomato, because that's only 1,100 defense points. There you go, summon your monster on <laughs> another Mystic Tomato. So now my Gamma, I can take that one out. 
But then then we'll just give him two monsters for the end of that turn. He could bring in blue eyes. So I'm going to attack the face down monster instead. Alright, I'm going to end my turn right now. So far we're at a stalemate. Which makes things a little bit interesting. And that's all he has. I'm guessing he's got a lot of Exodia cards in his hand. Ooh, I could bring in Red-Eyes Black Dragon right now, but that would seem a little bit foolish at this point. So I'm just going to bring in Guardian of the Throne Room. I should have used this guy's special ability, like, send it to defense mode. But like, for that, I have to make sure I'm not going to attack. Because if I attack with Crass Clown, I can't change his position. Sangan? Okay, I gotta be extra careful here. Since he's not playing a lot of cards, he must have a lot of Exodia cards in his hand. And he can get himself another one right now. Like the right arm. Okay, I'm still safe. First, I'm gonna put my Crass Clown in defense mode. And then my turn. Oh, crap. That throws a wrench in my plans altogether. Oh, well. At least I can still do some offense. But with what? Eh, Master Keon should be my best choice. Dark Hole and Regeki are gone, so that I don't have to worry about any spell cards that sweep through my monsters just like that. But now it's time to swing for the fences, like I said before. It's getting a little too comfortable. Change of heart! Ugh. Giant turtle feeds on flames? Only 1,400 attack points. That's a terrible monster to have in your deck. I mean, I can easily beat 1,400 attack points with a 4-star monster. That's how sad it is. It's not even worth my dark hole. So I'm going to bring in my uh, dragon zombie here. No, I'm not going to activate my Graceful Dice, because it's not needed. It's go- it's fine, game. Don't worry about me. Alright, so I, may, I might as well just go random for a good while, until I beat someone three times, because I don't want to get them again and again. Then again, I might consider just going random all the way, just to make things a little interesting. For a little period of time, at least. You know, that way I won't really be deciding who I'm gonna get, and it could make things interesting. Alright, Kojikosi, I want you to attack the uh, face-down monster. That's pretty much your only target. Phantom Ghost, okay. Makes me feel better. That, Dragon Zombie, do some more damage. Bring him down to 2300. Still not worth using the Graceful Dice yet. Face down card. What could it be? Let's see, I have no idea what it could be. So I think in case that's Mirror Force, I'm gonna... Let's see, I think I should put my Kojikosi in defense mode. Because Dragon Zombie in defense mode, anything can beat it. And that would just put it in a bad situation. Okay, so that's not Mirror Force. Alright then. Then why don't I just put my uh, Mystical Elf face down. And end my turn. That's probably Trap Hole a Torrential Tribute. I don't even know what that is! That could be Mirror Force. I have no idea. Alright, let's see if this passes the smell test, because if it does, I win. Jar Greed? Well, that doesn't affect me at all. You still lose. Yeah! I win! Victory for me! Okay, so why don't we try Blackluster Soldier this time? 
The only reason you go for this booster pack is to look for ritual spells and monsters. So basically, I got Skull Guardian, Garment Sword, Oath, Hungry Burger, Zero the Mint, and Blackluster Soldier. In other words, I don't have any of the matching spells and monsters that go with each of these cards. Yet. So that wasn't really a good draw, but I did need to get at least some cards from that pack to unlock an opponent. Oh my god, I get Truesdale again? Okay, now that's just getting comical, getting the same opponent twice in this video. Not by choice, mind you. Hmm. I think I'm gonna set you face down. It's a bit too early to go with my Maneater Bug. I'd rather wait for a tough monster. Well, that was a bit of a waste to use that so soon. If only I could get my Heavy Storm ready. That guy's got a lot of face down cards. The Forceful Sentry? Yep, let's play it right now. Uh, yep, I want that back in your deck. So let's see, what should I do now? I think I should go for the attack. If that's Torrential Tribute, that's good for me, because that destroys Mystic Tomato. He can't even use his effect. Okay, that still leaves me in a bad spot. Huh, he's actually going to summon his Dark Prisoner. That's pretty much his only monster right now. Well, that's the only card in his hand. He's got no others, except for two face-down cards. But those two face-down cards could burn me. Right now, I'm running low on monsters I can legitimately summon. Don't want to bring in my Gemini Elf yet, because that seems a bit too foolish. That's a very powerful monster, and that can go. Especially if that's a Torrential Tribute or a Trap Hole. That's not going to make my situation any better. So here's what I'm thinking. I think I should actually... wait it out a little bit? Part of me thinks so. Because I know he's eventually going to consider sacrificing to summon another monster if he could. Then I can use man or Bug to destroy that. Precious hopes and dreams. Uh, he's not gonna bite. He actually knows the defense points. That's just ridiculous there. It, it just seems like cheating. That's what it is. Like, the AI is cheap. I may not be able to use the effect, but let's give it a shot anyway. Oh, just a normal trap hole. So we got rid of one of them. Lost a monster in the process, but... You'll be remembered! Unfortunately, at this point in the game, of course, the duels are going to be slow, because I don't really have a lot of suitable cards yet. Oh, God. Now he forced me to use the effect, because the sword's revealing light. He's not going to attack, because Man Eater Bug has 600 defense points, therefore I'm safe. Okay, so there's really no reason for me to attack. There's no reason to keep this guy in. So I might as well just set this guy down. You did your purpose, man the bug. Now I got a monster that can give me a good defense. Okay, I still can't attack yet due to Swords of Revealing Light. Magic Jammer is really going to help out in a bind. I'm not going to summon any more monsters yet. Even though it might seem like a good idea, I'm gonna wait till I get Heavy Storm. Then we go all out. Okay, wait it out a bit longer. Might be putting a risk to myself as well. But that's usually what happens in Yu Gi Oh! It's basically a mental game of chess. Due to Swords of Healing Light being gone, I might as well just actually summon the monster. 
So there's no trap hole or torrential tribute, so there might still be a mirror force or a negate attack, though. Let's see. Negate attack, my monster's still safe, good. Oh, I got a scarf in my hand, because I got too many monsters in my hand, okay. I'll discard one of these. Graceful Charity, hmm. I don't know. I think I'm actually gonna let you activate it. Because there are other spell cards I'm more worried about than that. Mystical Space Typhoon, good, I'm playing it. Uh, probably this one. Call of the Haunted? Oh dear. Oh, bad luck. So what was the trap I- Oh, backup soldier? That was not really a good trap to destroy. Sadly, Blue Eyes White Dragon is that card right there. That's 3,000 attack points. I don't have my Man Eater Bug. Maybe if... No, that's probably not gonna work, because chances are I won't have enough monsters in play. You know, I'm gonna force you to activate Torrential Tribute. Because usually the AI tends to activate it the first chance it could. Which means I might be able to do something against that Blue Eyes. Nah, swing for the fences, I suppose. Oh, so now he had the Mirror Force. Bad move on my part, I will admit. Just remember, this game does not have passwords either, so you can't really just enter passwords to give yourself really good cards. That means you pretty much have to only win your cards in order to use them. Now I'm in a really bad spot. I could have my first loss. All I need is a heavy storm, and that can save me. I just need to draw it. Come on, draw, 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 draw. That's not going to help me at all. It really isn't. Might as well just go all out with Gemini Elf. Just take out one of these monsters. Yeah, go with Monster Egg. Excuse me? You really couldn't allow me to have that? Okay, difference here would be 1100. So we'll be down to 700. Yeah, but lose. It's over for me. Yeah, given my best effort, the winning streak had to end at some point. Okay, he just did something absolutely stupid. He gave me another chance. Okay. Heavy storm, heavy storm, heavy storm, heavy storm, heavy storm. Oh well. If only Shadow Ghoul was a four-star monster. All the monsters I had lost could have given me a chance all right together. So I might as well just take out one of his monsters. Yeah, when Blue Eyes takes out seven colored fish, I'm gonna be down to zero life points. Eh, not the end of the world. I just gotta try my best not to lose too much. Yep, it's over for me. I tried! Ah, I lost. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, it wasn't really my best showing, having the same opponent twice, one with a win and one with a loss. But in the next part, things should hopefully improve. I'm gonna try to take on some different opponents to get back in the swing of things. See ya, everybody!